Hi friends, today I will talk about oral semaglutide. First is a disclaimer, this video is made for educational purpose only and there is no endorsement for any brand or company. Semaglutide, it is a GLP-1 receptor agonist and it is resistant to degradation by the DPP-4 enzyme. So, when it is resistant to degradation, we we achieve high concentration of semaglutide uh, than the endogenous GLP-1. It is only the first and available oral agent in this category. It can be used both in monotherapy and in combination. It is administered as a OD basis. It is co-formulated with absorption enhancer called SNAC that is sodium N8 2 hydroxy benzyl amino capitulate. It this SNAC creates protective layer around the tablet and hence it increases the surrounding pH and facil facilitate the absorption of semaglutide. The maximum plasma levels are achieved after one hour of taking the drug and steady state concentration is achieved after three to four weeks so it takes about three to four weeks to achieve its uh, effect we can see in this diagram that the snac molecule facilitate or we can say it increases the ph of the surrounding fluid around the tablet and this snac interacts with the cell membrane and facilitates the absorption of semaglutide within 30 minutes. CN SNAC effect is size dependent and it is fully reversible. The various effects of semaglutides are in the GI tract they slow down the gastric emptying in the liver it decreases the glucose production increases glucose uptake increases lipolysis increases free fatty acid synthesis decreases inflammation and decreases the insulin resistant resistance in pancreas it increases insulin secretion increases insulin sensitivity it causes stimulation of beta cell proliferation and there is inhibition of the beta cell apoptosis and it also decreases the glucagon secretion they also decrease the visceral fat it has a cardio protective effect it increases the cardiac output decreases the blood pressure and in the brain it decreases the appetite it suppresses the appetite center and also has a neuroprotective effect the oral semaglutide is available as three dosages 3 milligram tablet 7 milligram tablet and 14 milligram tablet this has to be taken empty stomach with 120 ml of water and to avoid food intake for at least 30 minutes after taking this drug because of uh, its interaction with the food so we should not take any food tea coffee uh, within 30 minutes of taking this drug it has to be taken empty stomach with 120 ml of water the starting dose of semaglutide is 3 mg and but the effective dose is 7 mg we can't start uh, semaglutide with 7 mg or stop at 3 mg we have to start with 3 mg per day and after one month of giving it as 3 mg, thereafter we can increase its dose to 7 mg per day and give this 7 mg per day for another month. If we wish to achieve good weight control and good glycemic control, we can later increase the dose to 14 mg. This is also used as an anti-obesity drug with the patients with BMI of more than 30 or the patients who are overweight with BMI of more than or equal to 27 with one or more obesity related comorbidities. 
but the effective dose is 7 mg so semaglutide we have to start with 3 mg we have to give 3 mg per day for a month thereafter we can increase its dose to 7 mg per day for another month and this 7 mg is the effective dose we can't prescribe semaglutide to every person it is because it is very expensive we have to see the cost effectiveness also the patients who are on levothyroxine for hypothyroidism we must always monitor the thyroid stimulating hormone levels and nowadays the subcutaneous preparations of semaglutides are also available as 0.25 mg or 0.5 mg pens in the market it is available as ozempic i will talk about uh, injectable preparation of semaglutide in another video so, so uh, this uh, semaglutide is available in the market as tablet rebilis 3 mg 7 mg and 40 mg preparation starting dose is 3 mg per day for 30 days and the maintenance dose is 7 mg uh, per day for at least 30 days and thereafter to achieve more weight control or uh, achieve more glycemic control we can increase its dose to 14 mg but 7 mg per day is a clinically effective dose the side effects seen with semaglutides are nausea diarrhea vomiting constipation indigestion heartburn abdominal distension and pain belching flatulence some patient can have gastroesophageal reflux disease and gastroenteritis. Patient can have headache, fatigue, dizziness, hypoglycemia, pancreatitis. This as it lowers the gastric peristalsis, the patient can have gastroparesis and may have bowel obstructions also. We should avoid patient this drug in patients with acute gallbladder disease and when we are giving this oral semaglutide we should not use dpp4 inhibitors or gliptins the contraindications uh, with uh, semaglutides are the patient who are a known case of medullary carcinoma medullary thyroid carcinoma or if the, there is family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma or in patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia types we should avoid uh, semaglutide and if the patient uh, with end stage renal disease uh, if the GFR is less than 15 in these patients also we should avoid semaglutide thank you this was about the uh, semaglutide in my next uh, video I will talk about the uh, insulins. Thank you very much.